Exclamation, everybody. Welcome back to Sunday Ramblings in Cube World. It is a new week and a new episode. Uh, today is, uh, for me, it's Saturday night, uh, December the 21st. Uh, very, very, very close to the holidays here. Hope everyone uh, has a happy holiday um, who is watching this. If you're not watching this, to hell with you. <laughs> now, seriously, uh, I I usually fall down on my on my efforts to actually wish happy holidays to people, so I'm doing it uh, preemptively here uh, so that I can uh, don't forget it by the end of this episode. Um, today I'm actually going to uh, try to get into another biome here. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I am uh, rather tired of uh, all the <laughs> of all the snow here. Uh, I've been dealing with plenty of snow in real life, and uh, now in Cube World, it's it's nice. It's you know, but the uh, the novelty of it has kind of worn off of me. <laughs> So I'd like to try to find another biome, preferably a warmer one, uh, that has a little bit more uh, color and variety to it. Um, so that's uh, that's my goal here. Now, in the last episode, uh, I did out you know skirt the edge of one uh, biome that looked like a, you know an autumn forest biome, uh, but instead of going that way, I want to try and go the opposite way of where I was, and. Uh, Actually, uh, as you can see on the map here, there is a um, quest marker along the way here. I want to, first of all, see what this is. And then after that, uh, head towards the other border and see what uh, other biome I can get into here. My goal by the end of this episode is to be in a different biome, uh, preferably a non-snow uh, biome, just to just to get a little bit... Uh, variety and uh, and really just kind of get out of the doldrums here <laughs> of of this biome. I, it's still very beautiful game. It's just you know after a while you get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. So hopefully we'll be uh, graced with a, a biome I haven't encountered yet. That would be awesome. In the meantime, I have been uh, a busy busy person. <laughs> as far as the recordings go uh, playing lots and lots of games here trying to get uh, a bunch of stuff uh, uh, trying to get used to uh, some games I've picked up I picked up quite a bit and also uh, you know start recording some things uh, I have uh, officially started my vacation for a little while here so I will have some time to sit down and actually maybe actually get a, uh, a backlog build up of, of videos that would be awesome I'm not going to change my normal schedule it's still going to be weekends uh, when I when the videos come out uh, but at least help me to uh, I mean I completely you know I'm <laughs> I'm right on the edge of, of videos that are ready to go here I pretty much exhausted any backlog I had uh, up to now so it will be nice to get that uh, get a nice uh, back catalog going particularly my my main goal is to get through editing all of my um, Wing Commander Saga videos and uh, also adding the little extras to it that I wanted to add I just have to record those as well you know little side things in there uh, so I, I would like to try to to blow through as much of that as I can on my vacation here and try to get a good a good backlog of that there's going to be a lots and lots of episodes just based on the raw footage that I have uh, there's going to be I obviously I'm going to cut it down quite a bit because there's areas where I've uh, died several times and you know just cut out all the repetitive stuff but it's still going to be pretty pretty darn long and it's only going to be once a week so as most of my videos go so we'll have a well into next year we'll be uh, probably looking at the Wing Commander Saga stuff which is good I'm trying to keep a uh, something of a variety on the channel um, that being said I I intend to play Ethereum when it comes out uh, in fact I uh, 
if you remember back when I did my video of that, and I've talked about it a few times on, on this show as well, uh, Ethereum is a Wing Commander style um, space combat game, very, you know, very similar to the Wing Commander Saga stuff, obviously. Uh, just different universe, different uh, uh, playground, different weapons, that kind of thing. Um, I There was a beta of that that just came out, uh, another beta for, for the backers. And unfortunately, they still don't have their... Well, fortunately and unfortunately. Fortunately, they're, the developer is focused entirely on getting the main story um, done and, and, and ready and code complete. Which is good, because um, there's made he's made a lot of progress based on what I've seen. Uh, the unfortunate part is I don't want to. Uh, I, I was hoping that this latest beta would be uh, would have some more fleshed out simulator missions. You know that it's been promised to have that would have some historical missions in the simulator, or whatnot. Um, even some more fleshing out of what's already there. Uh, there is some new cockpits, which is good. I, I won't run into an empty cockpit thing anymore. Uh, but it's still just a create your own mission thing. That being said, I think I might do a short video showing that off because it is a heck of a lot of fun. And I do want to garner some, you know, eyes on it and some support for it. Um, there's There's no, as far as I know, there's no donate button or anything like that. It's just going to be... You, know, you just have to wait for it to come out uh, when it's released. Uh, but it'll be, you know, it'll be a heck of a lot of fun, I think, when it when it does come out, based on what I've seen already. So, uh, with that said, I... Oh, I got on to... Oh, yeah, right. Variety on the channel. <laughs> I'm wondering how I got on that subject. Uh, that will probably break with the variety a little bit, because it'll be... Uh, two space combat simulator um, games running but that's that's going to be a thing with me because there's a lot of them coming out and a lot of them that I intend to play I have a few of them on my list here that I'd like to go through as well um, but also I want to try to keep some other genre of games there as well I mean I am big on the sci-fi stuff so most of my games will be sci-fi, some will be fantasy, most will be sci-fi games. Uh, I do jump into the, all the other things like the Minecraft I'll jump into from time to time, and uh, obviously Cube World here, and other things that are coming out. But I do, my, my main passion though with games and with, with you know, hobbies in general is, is science fiction. So if you're if you're sensing a theme, <laughs> it's there. Believe me, it's it's intentional. <laughs> so um, we had a few. We had a little another tidbit of information came out about Cube World here. Um, Wally tweeted a little bit uh, about a day or so ago. Another picture about the new quest mechanics that he's working on. Uh, in the picture, he had a his character carrying an NPC so and the quest said something like carry this NPC to some other location so probably get some you know a little bit more quest variety that'll be good and there's a bunch of other things that have been planned so when this next release comes out or whenever it'll be I don't know when it'll be um, there'll be quite uh, quite a bit to look at and examine in the game so That'll be good. We'll be, uh, we'll be getting some more, some more uh, stuff to play with, uh, which will be great. Uh, I mean, <laughs> as it stands now, this is what episode twenty-two. Uh, I had no inkling that I would be doing it for twenty-two episodes as it is. So, <laughs> just based on what I initially saw on the game, with uh, how much uh, we had, uh, how little we were actually getting as far as updates in the game. Um, but, but I'm still enjoying the heck out of it, and it's still we're still rolling along, and and I seem to have gotten to a point now in this game where uh, the leveling is just well, let's just say I'm leveling up incredibly fast, and I think it's I think it mostly has to do with the fact that I just keep taking on these bosses all the time, 
that was the thing I sort of avoided the most in the beginning because uh, it was so difficult just to just to fight them. I mean, that one I always go back to that one boss that took me like 28 minutes to fight, and that was just incredibly frustrating and difficult just to sit there for that long and, and do that. Um, but it's uh, you know now that I'm now that I'm taking them down a lot, it's uh, the levels are just flying by here. I've been keeping my uh, keeping good old recursion here with me uh, to try to level him up a bit. He's up to level ten, so he's starting to become useful. He's not dying quite as often. Um. So yeah, awesome. Some some new stuff coming out from Cube World. This will be this will be great. I think. I just can't wait for the new the new version. I'm I'm hoping uh, there's also some some examination of the uh, saving at the end of the game when you save and quit. Uh, one thing I've noticed, and I've been backing up the game to a separate location relatively routinely because it scares me that uh, when I when I quit out of the game, it takes at least mm, a good four to five minutes for the game to finally quit because it's I guess it's saving and doing other things you know making sure all the save files are correct uh, maybe val validation whatever um, and it's beginning progressively longer so that's why I assume it has something to do with the save mechanics so saving the world as I explore more and more so hopefully uh, hopefully that's something that'll be uh, addressed and I won't end up Having a corrupt world here, because I uh, <laughs> worked worked a lot on it. <laughs> uh, okay, so some more things I've been I've been looking at. I uh, you may have noticed on my videos last week a bit of a uh, an oddball video that uh, you know I hadn't actually planned on. It just came out, and I I just felt the need to do it. And I'm talking about uh, Soul Zero. It's a uh, Mars colonization uh, RTS uh, game, and I'm not really big into the RTS games, but this game, I, you know, I thought, eh, let me give it a try. And I played the demo. And I was like, man, this game is fantastic. I need to, I need to buy the alpha right now, and I need to record it. And I thought, okay, I'll buy the alpha. I'll record it. I'll probably get one video out of it. It'll be, you know, a side quest video, and then, uh, and then I'll just play it on my own, off camera. And then I, uh, I started, re you know, I, I start recording once, and I, I end up throwing that out because it was just, um, I, I, I messed up even more than I messed up in the one that I did record. It was just incredibly terrible. <laughs> you know, my commentary and stuff of the first one I threw out. But as I was, what it did though, was it allowed me to uh, really take a step back and look at the game. And I'm like, you know what? I can get quite a lot of episodes out of this game because I'm just enjoying the hell out of it. You know, this is not going to be just a one-off thing. This is going to go straight to episode form, which is completely unusual for me. Usually I'll know ahead of time when I pick up a game, whether or not I'm going to just do a one-off for whether I'm going to actually do a long play uh, let's play on it. And this one, I, I, I made the decision you know, like right on the spot, like this is going to be an episode right now. <laughs> um, and it's good, it, it served as sort of a the tutorial that the game doesn't necessarily have just yet. Um, I, I actually saw the game on, uh, on Reddit's uh, R Play My Game subreddit. Uh, which I, I frequent, uh, but often don't say anything in there. I just it's just something I it's one of the many places I look for for uh, indie games to see uh, find new and exciting things to play with. And uh, one of the main um, pieces of feedback was that a lot of people were having on there was that they didn't know what to do, and I had the same exact problem. I started up the game and I was playing it off camera and. I had no clue until I until I it all just suddenly clicked and I figured it out, you know. And I also looked on the website at the tech tree so I could figure out so, you know, there was uh, I could see the progression there. And I thought, okay, if I'm going to do this, 
let's uh <laughs> as the fire engines run by in, in the background i don't know if you can hear that um i thought uh this would also make it for a good tutorial and i enjoyed it so much i was like eh, series out of this so yeah enjoying that incredibly so expect more of that it's probably going to be a a weekly thing um also interestingly enough a little side note on that uh, it's the only series I've had so far where when I go to render it, it actually takes longer to render the ultimate video than it did how much video I actually have recorded. You know, normally with my computer, it takes maybe, you know, if I have a 45 minute video, it takes maybe yeah, 30, 35 minutes to, uh, to actually render the final video that you see on, on YouTube. For the same 45 minutes in Soul Zero, for whatever reason, I, I'm guessing it has to do with the compression and how, you know, most of the, my video is, is red because that's the Martian surface. Um, it takes, a 45 minute video will take 50 minutes <laughs> to, to render. And then right after that, I can render a different video and get the and get normal results out of it. So it's, I, I'm guessing it has something to do with the compression. It's pretty, it's interesting. I never thought of it so uh i now know <laughs> for future reference not to let that sit until the last minute to render i need to actually render it uh quite quickly so it's done and ready to go for uh for the weekend little little side note there a little bit just a little bit <laughs> Also, uh, another indie game, and I've mentioned this the last, not well, not the last episode. Last episode was my my rant on, on YouTube, which <laughs> after I got done, I was like, you know, there's about six or seven other points I had listed that I wanted to make um, that were fairly good points, but I just didn't get around to them. And mostly because by the end of that video, I was so frustrated by how often I was dying to just stupid things but also uh, at the fact that I was just so tired after what was it an hour and five minutes hour and ten minutes I said I, I got I gotta end this right now <laughs> before my voice completely goes it's amazing really because it's just um, you know I don't talk very often during the day and then you think you know I mean you think an hour wouldn't be that bad but you know for, for a guy that doesn't talk that much, uh, a half an hour, an hour, it, it just drains you after a while. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> I ended up just cutting that one short because I just could, <laughs> I was, I was beat after that. I mean, literally, I wanted, there were other things I wanted to record after that and I ended up just <laughs> going to bed, literally. <laughs> I just rendered what I could and just, and just went to sleep. Um. So that's a, that's a thing. Uh, hopefully everybody sort of understood what I was talking about then. But anyway, uh, back to my other topic. I, I've talked enough about the YouTube thing, and there's plenty of articles out there about it, and plenty of other people have jumped on it, um, even before me and then after me as well. Um, Rodina is a game that uh, just came out on the 13th. Um, so it was just this week and, uh, I talked about this previously. It's a space combat game, uh, you know, seamless transitions from space to planet side. Uh, you know, you have a lot of physics in it uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's purposely made so that it's, you know, your ship is kind of difficult to fly and difficult to fight but it's you know there's there's a story there um and, it, and it's open world right and i got my first look at it I, I managed to order it when it came out and i've been playing it a little bit and i will do a video of it at some point now the problem i've run into uh is not with the recording but rather with the fact that there's a lot of downtime in the game a lot more than I had initially thought it is very simmy like that in in that regard where um, 
you can fly literally you hold down the, the W key to fly forward and I've only played for about I don't know 25 minutes and in that 25 minutes I saw literally one planet and that was the starting planet that I, or starting asteroid that I started out on and that was it it was just it was just a crazy amount of waiting and a lot of downtime in, in the middle there so I will eventually have a video it's just I have to figure out how I'm going to do it and where I'm going to cut and also what I'm going to talk about because there is a story there and there are some gameplay mechanics there but the game is nowhere near being complete it's in many ways I look at it as being a a tech demo more than anything else. I know the dev kind of use it as a the, the dev's not done with it obviously, but they don't actually call it an alpha or a beta anywhere. It's actually calling it a release. It's just release 1. Um I would really call it, you know, a tech demo an alpha tech demo. There is a lot there. It's just, there's a, it can be very boring in, in the middle there, you know, in the middle pieces where it just takes you forever and a day to, to, to get anywhere and, and to unlock more of the story and those kinds of things. It's fun. Uh, you know, overall, it's just, there's a lot of dead time and, uh, that's, it's kind of rough for me because I I only get maybe a half an hour to an hour to play things uh, so if I'm spending that half an hour just doing nothing then I then I'm not really making any progress and I sort of get really frustrated when I don't make that kind of progress it's the one thing that frustrates me at the most about Minecraft and why it takes me so long to get back into the groove and not you know and why I don't do full you know weekly videos on it because it just it takes forever and a day to actually accomplish anything in the game and when you only when you're only playing for 15 20 minutes and you can't get anything accomplished in that time it's you know it can be weeks before you finally um before you finally have something worthy of of recording and putting to video in video form so there's that. Uh, that's also the thing I like about Cube World is that at least, you know, at the end of each of these episodes, I've I've probably gained a level or gotten very close to it, and I made some progress in some way, shape, or form. And they're not very long episodes either. So, well, usually not very long episodes. So, that's that's where I stand. You know, I'm more of the casual guy than the hardcore guy, and. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily have the investment, the time investment to put into some of these things. Especially given how I jump around between multiple things. But anyway, that's that's where I stand with that. I will, as I said, put a video up of it eventually. I just have to uh, wrap my brain around, around it and how I'm going to tackle it. Also, and I've promised this a few times, I, I do intend to put a video up of... Uh, Neon Excesses. Um, I have it on the computer. Um, I tried to jump into it and uh, and play it, but it has the same problem that I get with a couple other Unity games, uh, namely, and I mentioned this once before, the Wings of Sant Navar, which also has an update, which I, I should dig into at some point. Um, it, uh, it has this problem where if I have my joystick plugged in the game just freaks out like it just keeps you know your ship just keeps spinning in place constantly and it has joystick support so I believe it has joystick support um, so we'll have to see uh, what uh, I'll try to unplug it and then plug it back in when the game starts and see what happens I, I don't know well I'll have to see see, if, see how I can fix that and it looks like, to my dismay here, <laughs> I've found yet another uh, snow biome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just follow this um, 
pathway here uh, on the map that you saw earlier and uh, and see if I can get to another biome here because it doesn't look like this extends it looks like there's another little segment there on the other side of this that isn't uh, fleshed out yet so Let's see what we can do here and I'll, I'll try to head over there and while I head over there I will uh, I'll talk some more about some more things here um, actually you know what this is going to be pretty boring I think because I'm going to uh, avoid as many uh, encounters as I can so uh, I will cut away and then I will return when I have found whatever this other uh, biome is uh, hopefully it'll be a much warmer place than where I am currently <laughs> So I'll see you in a brief moment. All right, and I am back. It looks like just on the edge of my map there that I'm reaching a warmer climate. So this will be good. All right, let's uh, continue with our discussions here. <laughs> as the as the uh, alarm bells continue right ringing in my in the background there. <laughs> um, so Starpoint Gemini 2 just got a an update uh, update number 15 uh, for those of you in the alpha uh, or the early access I should say which is actually the alpha um, on Steam they, they've said and they tweeted out that it's going to be their last uh, last update for this year um, obviously there's going to be plenty more to come it also released a trailer on it where it's basically gone into depth about uh, a lot of the feedback the players have given, uh, a lot of features that the, that the players want. So uh, that's good. And they all look they all look excellent to me. So I'm I'm psyched up. I definitely want to play that game when it's ready. Um, and I I enjoyed every once in a while I jump in there and enjoy myself a little bit. So I can't wait. Awesome. Also, uh, a shout out to the uh, Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball people. Um, there was a uh, a tournament, the first ever <laughs> Robot Roller Derby Disco Derby Disco Derby du Robot. Yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> uh, the first ever tournament was just held. Uh, I unfortunately I apologize to the winners I I saw they were tweeted out and I uh, uh, forgot to write down who actually won <laughs> but there were winners and congratulations to everybody who played in it I did not uh, participate because I suck at that game so badly <laughs> even more so than most games I just I cannot hit the broad side of a barn in there so that that'll be cool. That's that's interesting stuff that's happened. Uh, it also got me thinking about um, multiplayer stuff in general. Uh, I decided that uh, well, this and something else has happened. Uh, I've decided that I want to potentially start up another series. I'd like to do it once a week. We'll see how it works out. It really it really depends on on what I can what I can muster. But I'd like to, I, I'm tentatively calling it a uh, pub crawl, uh, which is to say it's, it's uh, you know, how they call public servers, pul public multiplayer servers, they call them pubbies. Um, what I want to do is sort of have like a mixed grab bag of games that I'm playing that are multiplayer games. Um, either, I mean, either they're single player games with a multiplayer component or they're straight up multiplayer games. I usually stray away, I, I mean I play them on my own from time to time, but I usually stray away from actually recording them because, you know, there's a lot of lag time, there's a lot of down time when you're waiting for games to start up and it, it's hard to uh, really have interesting commentary <laughs> during them, but I think it's, it's something I want to learn how to do and since I'm trying to learn how to be better at uh, communicating and also uh, you know be a little more shall we say outgoing 
I I want to gain some experience in it. So I'm making up a list of things that I want to sort of jump into. Uh, obviously, uh, Disco Dodgeball is one of them. Um, but I just got done right before recording this guy. I just got done on the Play Mindcrack uh, server. Uh, I joined as a beta tester on there. Um, that is going up. Um, that server, I believe, is going to go live Monday, uh, depending on whether or not there's any uh, any issues found that they need more time for to fix. Uh, I had some fun. I had some fun on there. There's some game modes that I'm not uh, not all that thrilled about. I mean, there's really only one that I enjoyed. The rest were either not being played by anybody. Like there's there's like a barnyard blitz one that I wanted to try, but <laughs> ain't nobody playing that. So I, I might have to wait on that one. And there's other ones like the Golden Monocle or whatever it's called. That's eh, it's more luck based than anything else. It's not really, there's no skill there. Um, so, I, and then there's the straight up survival, um, survival stuff, which I played the most of. So I, I have about an hour and 45 minutes of footage there. I'm going to definitely cut that down, probably do more of a montage type of thing because again my commentary just is relatively non-existent or or uh <laughs> isn't top-notch quality t stuff not that i not that it is here either um mostly because uh, you know i spent most of that time waiting for new um waiting for current games to end and get and get into new games before I realized that I could always that I could jump back into the lobby with a with a command, <laughs> then it, then then in, then the game started going going by pretty quickly. Then uh, also you know I suck so bad that I I think my longest I survived in one of the games was about five minutes. So <laughs> this is going to be the problem with doing a multiplayer series, I think. But my 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 goal is to sort of maybe do different games every week. So maybe one week will be the play Minecraft stuff, another week, you know, Disco Dodgeball, another week maybe Awesome Knots. I've played that game. I love that game. I just I just never, you know, thought it'd be worth recording, but if I'm going to do something like this every week, that would be that would be a nice one to get into. There's also a, a space game that I played um, and I the name of it escapes me at the moment uh that's also multiplayer so i, I might jump into that as well and I'm, i was actually fairly good at that game too so that would be interesting to see if i'm still worth what i <laughs> what i was on there and uh you know several others uh there's you know i've been uh i bought into um sky nations you know ages and ages ago and i actually recorded some footage but i didn't I, I've kind of tossed it out because it was a lot of waiting around, a lot of just mining and minor stuff. Um, that game sort of requires you to have a team of some kind to to actually get things done because it's as slow as Minecraft is. You know where it takes you just can't get anything done in a half an hour, and if you do, somebody will come by as soon as you log out. Somebody comes by and destroys everything you made. Uh, <laughs> destroys your ship so it was hard for me to actually make any kind of videos out of it that were that were half decent but I might jump in there and maybe it's uh, a little bit changed maybe it's a little bit different now so we'll see several things on my list there so that's what I'm trying to do with that I I, I think I'll I think for the, for the moment the videos will be relatively short but we'll see uh, so I want to try see if I can do that on a week-to-week -week basis that probably won't be as difficult as say this cube world is because I could record some of them ahead of time and then just uh, release them on the appropriate days whereas cube world I really got to wait until you know Saturday night like this to, to do it because I need to wait for to get gather up all my news and all you know and and my thoughts on things and I mean, granted, I have a whole list of things here that I still don't, I'm not probably not going to get to, uh, but it's, you know, I still like to make sure that I'm up to date with everything. So I have to do a lot of 
a lot of surfing beforehand to make sure I've got everything. <laughs> and speaking of uh, making sure I got everything, uh, Humble Bundle 8 came out uh, this week, I believe. I believe earlier in the week. Uh, there's nine days left as of right now, uh, Saturday night. Uh, it's got uh, Little Inferno, which I, most of these I haven't played yet, so I don't know what they entail. Little Inferno, Gemini Rue, which I started to play a little bit of. It's a it's a point and click, a sci-fi point and click. Um, I would like to get a point and click onto my channel. Some videos of that. We'll have to see if this is the one or not. I, I've tried a few things like um, uh, Metal Dead. I tried that, but you know what I do is I try to I play about ten minutes of it and see if I get stuck. And if I get stuck within the first ten minutes, then I know it's it's a game that I'm not going to be able to <laughs> record because of how terrible I am at puzzles in general. Uh, that's why I cut out all my puzzle solving shenanigans from all my videos <laughs> whenever possible. Um, this one I played for about, f about 10, 15 minutes and I was still making some progress. So this is a good candidate. Uh, the Metal Dead one I played for 10 minutes and I got immediately stuck and couldn't unstick myself. So that was the, that was the, the nail in the coffin for that one. So we'll see. I would like to get, I'd like to get a few of those on there and get, you know, some more variety as I was saying earlier. Um, it's still sci-fi, but it's it's different genres. Also in the uh, Humble Bundle 8 is uh, Ah, Pretty Awesome. Uh, I have no idea what that game is. Uh, Jack Lumber, Hero Academy, which I've heard good things about. I, I want to see, it was one of the main reasons I bought the, the bundle. Because uh, I've heard good things about it. I want to see what it's like. I, I have no idea what I'm getting into there. Uh, and Anomaly 2. Uh, those are the ones that have been announced so far. I assume they're all the ones. That's all six, I believe. Uh, there might be another one. They're, they kind of still have that open spot on there, so we'll see. Anywho, uh, you might want to... Any of those uh, ring a bell with you or seem like uh, something cool that you want to look at, uh, you know, head on over to HumbleBundle.com and... Uh, Give them a little bit of a little bit of dough. Uh, support some charity and support some indie devs. What else do we got here? Well, I tried uh, recording Next Car Game. Uh, it's a it's a game by Bugbear Studios. Um, they're the ones that did like the Flat Out series and whatnot. I've been looking for ages for a good you know racing game that I could play that. You know that I could record, and that uh, I've been hoping for an open world one. This is not an open world one. This is just a regular, you know, go from one race to the next, which is fine. I, I you know, I like those two. Um, I want to see how this works out. I, I, I tried recording it. Um, my commentary wasn't great, so I might end up just trying to record it again. I think I, I just was not. It was the first time I was in there and I was trying to get some information out about the game and I uh, it just, it, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work. <laughs> sometimes you just, you're just you just talking and it's just, it just ain't working out. So uh, I'm going to try recording that again um, once I'm in a different mindset. Since I have a good uh, long week here where I can just do what I need to do, I might... Uh, might get up early one day and just kind of, you know, go right through it. It'll be a pretty quick one because it's just a tech demo right now that they have. It's a little sandbox that you can play around in. So it'll be a relatively quick uh, video. It's just I need to, I need to get some energy before I do it. I, I was not very energetic. <laughs> not that I'm, not that I'm that energetic to begin with. Uh, at least not in my monotone voice. It, it, but, you know, it's. I am usually, even right now, I am really happy and really, this is this is energetic for me. <laughs> it really is. It doesn't sound like it, but it really is. Uh, I just need to get this voice. I had a very, very even worse voice when I was when I was doing the uh, the first run through of that. So, 
that is a thing that you can also get into. That's got uh, some alpha funding. They actually had a Kickstarter that um, did not succeed. They ended up, uh, I believe, canceling it because it was just it just wasn't going well. So now they're doing the crowdfunding thing, but they're doing it directly from their website. So that looks like it's going to be some fun, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get something good out of that, and I'll potentially get a uh, a video up of it, so we'll we'll be able to see all there is to see. Also, uh, something else that came out that was announced, uh, I don't know if it was announced this week or not, but I, I stumbled onto it this week. Uh, Darkfield Alpha. This is another Wing Commander slash Freelancer uh, inspired dogfighting game, uh, but it's all multiplayer. So it's a whole multiplayer dogfighting game majig. Um, so yet another reason why I've been thinking about doing multiplayer stuff. Uh, I just got into the alpha on that. I hopefully will have a video of that soon. I just I just downloaded it. Um, was that the one I downloaded? Yeah, that was the one I just downloaded. I just haven't. I tried to jump into it, but it had joystick problems like a lot of other games. So, all right, I think that's it for me for one for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see. Oh my God, that's a lot of NPCs. How the hell did I get this many? <laughs> uh, I will see you next week, everybody. Take care.